Hello, my name is Blake Riley, and I'm a senior from Gothenburg High School. Wow! And this is my poem entitled Pencil uh, with lyrics by Mary Lambert, and I want to give a trigger warning for self-harm. The pencil is a magical object. It holds the ability to extract the things you are feeling from your soul and place it onto a piece of paper however you'd like. The pencil is only limited when the human hand hesitates to write what the heart has to say. As poets, the simple task of writing what we feel never seems to be a problem. But what about those who don't write? Think of all the unwritten thoughts, the unwritten feelings, the unwritten stories that never escape the fingertips of those who are afraid of their thoughts, their feelings, and their stories being heard. Think of all the words that weigh anxiously at the tip of a pencil, but never escape the dull gray point in which they are trapped. Think about the boy who goes home every day to a broken family and a brutally abusive father. His dad takes his pencil away and he turns it into a weapon. He erases the boy's imagination, draws shades of black and blue on the boy's arms and fragile chest, and uses the lead to create a weight too heavy for the boy to carry. He finds his way into the boy's colorful dreams and turns them into colorless nightmares. And what about the girl who replaces her pencil with a razor? And instead of writing what she feels down on a piece of paper, she carves her thoughts into her skin, replacing blood for lead, scars for words, and tears for an eraser. And with her blood, she writes down about how she's bullied every day because she's fat and ugly. You're fat and ugly, God, why am I fat and ugly? Think about the boy at school who is deathly afraid to come out of the closet for the fear of rejection, ridicule, and rebuilding relationships. He puts on a show at school so everyone thinks he's normal, but goes home and cries. He cries and prays for God to make him normal. And that used to be me. I used to be the kid who went home and cried at night, praying for God to make me normal, fearing rejection and damnation because of my sexuality. And the night that some kid holds in one hand a pencil and a bottle of pills in the other, I pray to God he chooses the pencil. I hope he realizes he is worth it. His story is not over and he may be different, but that's okay. And I can't change, even if I tried, even if I wanted to. My love, my love, my love, he keeps me warm. He keeps me warm. And so does my magical, magical pencil. And I will never take that for granted.